Welcome to NickEducation.com and what we're going to do today is we're going to be starting our classic series. So we're going to work on a regular classic bob, a major essential for any salon. Um, see you in a few minutes. Now when you're cutting a bob, what you want to do is you want to take a very small first section. You want to make sure that you're not taking too much hair because this is you know, where you get to really see the growth direction of the haircut or the growth direction of your client. So you can see that Anna's hair grows in and over. As long as you don't put a lot of tension on that, that should work out really well for you because the weight will eventually um, hold that hairline down. Now, let's talk about this a little bit. Okay, working in my back section again, making sure the head's parallel to the floor and slightly down. And again, I'm going to comb where the hair grows from. When you work damp like this, you have a lot of control over the hair. I work with a lot of students and they usually let the hair dry and the hair is like slipping out of their fingers and they can't figure out why. Work damp and you'll have a lot more control, especially in a haircut like this. Comb to the side where the hair grows from and to the side where the hair grows from. And you can see, I have this hair all set up, ready to cut. So now I just place my comb or you can, you know, place your, the, um, you can give it a karate chop or, you know, just use the blades of your hands or you can use the comb as a tool and always the angle of the scissors slightly down you don't want to round this up if you do you're gonna you're gonna make the bob round and that doesn't that's not so flattering now I can see the profile which is like really important to get this whole profile in So now I can comb it, and the hair will be just a little bit heavier, and a little more of the hair will pop out of the bottom. So now I can make this really, really clean, really, really nice and strong, and um, just take off all those little ends, and you'll make that nice, straight line. Now, by angling slightly down, that's how you wound up with that nice, straight line. Because if your scissors were angled up, notice, if my, if my scissors are level, parallel with the floor, my tips are angling up. And what's going to happen is that's going to make the line rise up, and that really takes the power and strength out of a bob completely away. You want to, right now, my scissors are level with the floor. And you can see that even though they're level with the floor, how those tips are angling up. And that'll really knock the corner off the front of your bob. But you can see we have a really strong, clean line in there. And that's what we're really working towards for our bobs. There we go. All right. All right. Are we ready? We're ready. Inches of hair going. Oh my god, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. I think I can walk more than I ever have. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this feels so weird. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> there it is. All done. <laughs> you ever had your hair shot? No, that's since I was four years old. <laughs> Eighth grade, it was like shoulder length. That was the shock. Yeah. Or that one. It's an amazing color. Mm. It changes in every light, I think. Kind of difficult. She was picking out a way what color to go. Yeah. yeah. Were you able to find it? Yeah, it's, I think what? a little bit redder than. Nice and really quick, too, the wig came in. A week in the same haircut, almost the same color, everything. Were there like swatches that you looked at? Yeah, exactly. And then you ordered? 
there was a red and then a combination of browns trying to decide which one. Inside it looked like the one, outside the other. Finally he just says, Margaret, so are you a redhead? Is that what people see you as? Yes. All right. Go again. And, and it, he was right. And she put it on. It could have been her own hair. Straighter. It's a natural hair. No, it's synthetic. I think natural is just too expensive. Too expensive, yeah. So I think. Hopefully it'll only be six months that I have to wear it, so it's yeah. not like a lifetime. And he said it takes like three heads of human hair to make one wing, so... Wow. Do you want to leave a mullet? No. 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 <laughs> no. That would be an interesting way to go. Come on! <laughs> Do you know anything about after people have had chemo and their hair grows back? But it, mm -hmm. Is it true that it always changes? That the hair always it, comes back? It comes back typically a little bit of a different texture. Texture, yeah. And, and that can be for a period of time and then it can kind of revert back. So, okay. I mean, it, I mean, you already have a wave. I'm going to say that it's probably going to have a wave, maybe a little yeah. more to it. I mean, it's probably not going to be too much uh, of a difference for you as far as how yeah. you feel and about handling it. But it usually has a little bit of a different texture when it goes back in. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'm going to send you back to Carrie. Okay. I'm going to this on you. <laughs> and it's different, Margaret. Yes, yeah. I know it. Yeah. Okay, you know, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> <laughs>
probably not going to have a problem with dudes wanting to uh, bang you <laughs> because the kind of dudes that you hang out with don't like chicken searches. Now you have to actually find somebody that likes you. I know, for who I am. Exactly. Verse 20 of Chicks, it's a lie enough and waiting. I Enamoradísimos. Ahí, siente el abrazo. Venga, miraros, Nerea, mírale, sepárate, mírale. Sonríe, Nerea, sonríe. Me van a aligerar un poquito el pelo. Me han dicho que es quitar puntas. Gimbox, pero tú graba la cara de Nerea, no la mía, porque la mía, fíjate, macho. Qué tristeza. Sí, sí, así mola, así mola. Sí, ahora sí. A quitártelo siempre estás a tiempo. No, 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 quita todo. Marta, ¿a qué me lo vais a cortar? A cero. A cero. Como, como, una, pelota, como una pelota de ping-pong. Vale. La actriz que te conté, Ingrid Rubio, o sea, tú soy yo igual que tú, pero vamos, está guapísima. Nerea, no pasa nada. Nerea tiene la fuerza de la actriz. Sí. Dentro. Tía, Nerea, el pelo crece y enseguida lo tienes como un chico. Nerea, no pasa nada. Tía, no pasa nada. Pues imagínate, si tú eres guapa y te piensas que vas a ser fea, imagínate yo... Con calor, con calor. Nerea, me voy a probar si te importa que me pruebe esto. Vale, Esto me queda cojo. Esto me Que la veo. 
guapa. Guapísima, está en Nerea. ¿Qué te parece a ti? ¿Qué más? ¿No te parece a ti? Sí. Ya puedo entrar quien quiera. Qué guapísima. ¡Catalina! ¡Es que es muy guapa! 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 A ver, ahí, aquí es una cosa a tocar ahí. ¿Eh? Sí, están duritos. Hola, la mira, mira, ropa. <laughs> All right, we're about to begin to shave Emily's hair. This is the witnesses out here. Everybody, this is for a good cause. And All right. we're about to start today. I want to give a shout out first of all to Brian Nassel or Nazel. I don't know how to pronounce your last name, but he's someone who just he didn't know me and he just decided to donate to me twice. Not once but twice and thank you for being so generous you're awesome and yeah I told him I shout him out so I did okay here you go
pink flesh and the wet eyes, the devotional glance, and modesty that conceals a body that still has breasts and pubic hair. The contrast is so exciting. Oh, beautiful. It smells of canaries. Lapsang Souchong. The smell of my watch strap after a game of squash. Mice. Horse hair cushions. Brown sugar just unwrapped out of a damp paper bag. Burnt eggs. In here. People's coffee for down here. Mm.
Just so. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Now hold it. Yeah. Come on, come on, see it on, man. Mm-hmm.